This is how we ride. This is how we do. Question I was already asked. Is there any chance uh, that you want to race a Northeast Dirt Modified or any interest driving one? Somebody asked that question earlier. Um, it's, I wouldn't say no, but it's not high on my priority list. And I think Kyle said as well. One on one in a big block, pay per view and wagering involved. I don't know if Chaz means you versus the Chaz or me and you versus each other or me versus the Chaz. I'm not sure, but. I'm sure the Chaz thinks he could beat both of us because he's driven a modified one time. Oh, I, I know I can whoop your ass, David. I ain't talking to the bishop. I'm talking to the pope. I believe, but it'll hey, be interesting to see. Chaz is good, all right? Going back to the R Factor stuff, Chaz is, Chaz is a good race car driver. And what pisses me off about Chaz is he ran that. Oh, why don't you tell me then? Modified, and I saw him at the Chili Bowl shortly after it. I was like, dude, you did such a good job of that. You look fast, blah, 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 blah. So nice. And then he was a dick. He was mean to me. Not true. I just showed you how I got. That was my only time interacting with with Kyle at the Chili Bowl right there on Pit Lane. And he, he, he assaulted me. He told his little change to assault me. And then God protected me and, and turned Owen around and beat the hell out of him in the head with the bat. That's a whole nother story. This is about spirits and the Holy Ghost. I can't talk to you about that because we're talking to the Pope and the Bishop, but what I'm telling you, there was no, th this interaction that he's recalling is not true at all. I was not mean to him. I was getting assaulted by his family on pit road. We just saw it. After that. He just can't oh, help God. it. He can't help it to, to yeah, say. I was a nice guy and then he was mean to me. Oh, no. Not true. Not true. Oh. Not true. Uh oh. <laughs> Completely false. But, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's hinder on this situation right here. One on one in a bit block. One on one with the young money, the goat, and one on one with the great one, the Chaz, in a big block modified pay per view and wagering involved. And the reason I want wagering involved is because an event like this is gonna is gonna is gonna make some money. Because I'll tell you right now, I know that my odds will be 10,000 to 1 to beat Kyle Larson in a race car. But I'll tell you right now, anybody who's betting in into the chess, anyone who believes in the light, is going to make some money in the dark shades of the New York Strip. I don't even care what track it's on. I don't even give a damn. And I don't even care if I ain't drove a spring-loaded big block modified. I know that I can beat Kyle Larson. I'll tell you what. Some people out there, they're like, well, that's just a little bit cocky, Chaz. You can, that's so arrogant of you to say. You can, you can beat Kyle Larson in a race car. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's so, you ain't even really drove anything. You, the closest thing you got to winning the race was running the top side in Iowa in a micro modified. And, hell, you got passed with two to go. You, you couldn't even win. You came, you came and drove around the field, but you couldn't even hold on to the lead. You went up into a modified in, in, in New York, 20-year-old car, and I, I, I didn't do much up there. I mean, I made some A-mains. I made some A-mains. But I was behind the eight ball. I was racing $80,000 race cars with a $5,000 operation. And I was driving by some of those race cars. But you put the Chaz and the GOAT on any racetrack in an equally prepared race car, and I am going to wax young money up and down the racetrack like you ain't ever seen before. You thought Rocky Balboa knocking out Apollo Creed was something? Oh, hell no. We ain't going the distance in, in this first bout. We taking them out. People obviously want to see Kyle Larson in a big block modified. One-on-one -on -one with the great one. At any track that you want, I don't even give it. I can be a, 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 re, a reincarnated version of the Syracuse Bowl. But I will show you how not just the grave digger can put a big foot up his ass. But anyways, I do want to say uh, uh, thank you. I, th I think David Gravel did a great job. I want to thank uh, Spike Fast Racing for giving out some very valid points. Especially about him being, Kyle being scared to get beat by Taylor Reimer and, and Kaylee Bryson. I think that is very true. And I think this is a great job done by David. If you want to watch the entire three hours, it is on his YouTube channel, David Gravel. And he's got plenty of merchandise. Kyle Larson has merchandise, but he don't need the damn money. David Gravel does. So go buy David Gravel merchandise. I need some damn money too, so go buy mine. And if you think Kyle Larson is going to beat me, I got two words for you. Nicola P.
please. Somebody send Tim McCready a text message real quick. I'm sure he knows a couple people with a couple big blocks that would much oblige this ass whooping that I'm ready to give. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for tuning in. Go to David Gravel, watch the full interview, and we will catch you next time. But this is how we ride. This is how we do.